really not a bad deal at all. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to another bit of bundle banter. I saw that Humble Bundle had put out the Sweet Farm Bundle just today, and I thought maybe I'd talk about it for just a minute. The cause itself is really good, we'll go ahead and play a little clip of that. Sweet Farm is an animal sanctuary, an heirloom vegetable farm, and a tech haven dedicated to creating a more humane and sustainable world. Oh, look at all the cute animals. And then, um, I mean, not many of this, <laughs> these games included in the bundle are like farm based, and many of them have been bundled before, but we won't sniff at that. Because I see that they're trying to do a good thing, help out the animals. Let's take a look at the game. So there are nine games in total in this bundle. Uh, the top tier is $10. The second tier is average price and the lowest tier is only $1. So $1 really not a bad price. These games have been bundled quite a few times before, uh, at least two or three times each. But if you don't have them, they might be worth picking up. So let's take a look at them. We'll start with the first tier, and the first game in the first tier is Niche, which is basically a hexagonal evolution simulator. You basically take your little creatures out, breed different attributes into them, have them eat and breed, and try and manipulate them that way so they have the uh, traits that you like the best. I do have this game, I did play it briefly, all of my creatures ended up getting sick because they were too interbred, so there's a lot of depth to this game, uh, it wasn't one that I ended up doing on the channel, despite my love for Strayfon Studios, uh, they did put out Nimbatus, which I covered on the channel just briefly. Niche is a really different direction to go, so I think it's pretty cool, it's, it's a nice game, especially if you're picking it up for 33 cents in the first tier, I'd say that's worth it. If it's a dollar, I don't know, it depends how much you like this sort of game. Magic Cat is our second game up. It's basically a cute little platformer done in kind of a pixel art style. A relatively generous platformer at that, four hits and you're out, which is more than most platformers will get you, so I could probably sit down and end up beating this in a relatively short amount of time. I do not have this game currently, haven't tried it out, so I can't speak too much on it, but for 33 cents it looks decent. I do love platformers and the like, so who knows, maybe I'll end up trading for a key at some point, something like that. It even has a bit of, a bit of something for the completionists with picking up extra coins and gems. Not necessarily a collect-a-thon, but having collectibles inside of a platformer is never really a bad thing. Evergarden is the third game in the first tier. Again, really not a bad game. It's sort of a reskin of 2048, if you know what that is, where you basically, you know, take the two and slide them into each other and it becomes a four and the four becomes an eight and the eight becomes a 64 or whatever it is. This is just sort of reskinned with a really low poly kind of plant aesthetic. I think it's nice for what it is. I'm not necessarily too into puzzle games. I do have it in my library. I did boot this one up for just a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I mean a very little bit. Um, less than 15 minutes is what I was able to last in this game. Because it's just not my jam. If it looks like something that you'd enjoy, then you probably would enjoy it. I'd recommend giving it a try, especially for the low, low price that it's given here. The game does have sort of a story. Maybe the outline of a story. It's... <laughs> It's, it's very generous calling it a story, but it, it tried to do something, so I appreciate that. And there are also upgrades, which, you know, that's always nice for increasing the replayability of something. So, yeah, do check it out. And here we have the second tier, Equilinox Ultimate Chicken Horse and Samaras 3 for a price of... Well, the average price. Currently it's 710. It probably has gone up since most people are likely buying this bundle for Stardew Valley. Equilinox is a relaxing sort of sandbox slash nature simulator game. It is currently on my wish list. I do not own it. Again, I will probably end up trading something for it. Raise wildlife, grow plants, use the wildlife that you've raised and the plants that you've grown to unlock even more exotic wildlife and plants and expand your sandbox to have more biodiversity, which is always a nice thing. This is sort of an AFK game. You can just turn it on, let it run, and your biome will develop itself 
which is pretty nice. I enjoy these sort of games, especially when I'm doing something like sitting down to write for work. If you're a low energy gamer, <laughs> if you enjoy a bit of zen, then this game will probably appeal to you. The price is creeping up, you know, you're not paying 33 cents for these, it's probably more like a dollar each, but still that's not terrible, especially for a game that is currently on my wish list. Ultimate Chicken Horse is a multiplayer madness sort of game. It's only local multiplayer, at least as far as I know. I ended up picking this one up from Indie Gamer Chick on Twitter, at Indie Gamer Chick and Clever Endeavor Games. Ultimate Chicken Horse has seen a few updates. I believe they did start to randomize which opponent goes first because basically whoever goes last in placing items has an extreme advantage over uh, anybody else. <laughs> so that's, that's probably a good change to make. It is a novel idea. I do like the style behind it. And uh, if it looks like something that you'd enjoy, it might be worth a dollar. Maybe. Samaros 3! Oh my goodness, you guys know how I feel about point and click games. Definitely not a favorite of mine. The art style here is really, really cool. There's no dialogue. There's a pretty good story to it, but I just cannot do point and click games. It, it wears on my soul. <laughs> so, despite the positive reviews for Samaros 3, I, I have never booted it up. It sits in my Steam library gathering dust because I know it is a point and click game, but I did grab it in a bundle at some point. So maybe I'll try booting it up, but I don't find that <laughs> very likely. If you're into point and click games, if you're more of a story based gamer, or if you just want to help out some, some cute little animals over on Sweet Farm, this, this might be a decent game for you to pick up. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Stardew Valley, the game that needs no introduction. You've heard of Stardew Valley. I, I don't care who you are, you've probably heard of it. <laughs> uh, farming Simulator, it's just, it's gorgeous. I put about 80 hours into Stardew Valley. I played through uh, probably three different files. I know people that have put in many, many more hours because now it's got modding capabilities and online multiplayer and all this stuff. And along with all that, the price has kind of creeped up just a little bit. So if you're looking to get Stardew Valley, this is the reason that you're probably looking at the bundle. And I couldn't recommend it more. For, for $10, you are going to get your money's worth. You are going to squeeze every penny <laughs> out of it as long as you enjoy farming simulator sort of crafting game. But really it does have something for everybody. Are you more of an adventurer? You want to go in the mines and fight monsters? Go right ahead. You want to build relationships with your neighbors and just get married and hang out with your NPC wife all day? I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, yeah, you can do that too, if you want. There's cooking recipes that will give you a buff. There's customization out the wazoo, different hats. Oh my God, people fucking love hats. Stardew Valley is absolutely worth the money, unequivocally. And for only $10, I mean, not only do you get Stardew Valley, but you get all of the other games mentioned. So really not a bad deal at all. According to IsThereAnyDeal.com, Stardew Valley has been bundled the most times out of this entire bundle. That would be four times. But still, if you haven't picked it up yet, I would recommend doing so. So while I won't be buying the bundle myself, since I am only missing two of the games and I'm not completely head over heels for them, I think that this bundle is a really, really good deal for people who either A, don't have Stardew Valley yet, or B, saw a game within the listings that they really decided that they can't live without. Sweet Farm, I tried to look up some reviews and vet them a little bit. There's not a whole lot about them on the internet, which is weird for a charity that says they are tech savvy, tech based. What is that? The tech haven. Yeah, tech haven. That's what it is. But apparently their online presence is not so established quite yet. So while that won't drive me away completely and tell people, hey, this, this bundle's terrible, it does make me cock my head just a little bit and say, okay, 
If you're so tech savvy, where's your Twitter, bruh? <laughs> uh, anyways, if you buy the bundle, if you don't buy the bundle, do let me know. I would appreciate that. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, if you're gonna buy the bundle, there's also a link down there that will allow me to get a little kickback on it, so I appreciate that. Also, check out the other links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon, and a big, big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on the Patreon, my most stalwart ally, truly, truly. Anyways, friends, this has been Sweet Farm, another bundle banter. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope that you will join us for the next time. And until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.